talking about people that are doubt looking too tight and probably struggling and probably thinking, what the fuck happened to my life? Free Pooh Shiesty. Free Big Burr. Free him, man, because what an absolutely nutty story that Pooh Shiesty is now um, facing life in prison um, with a trial that's due to coming up really, really soon, right? Especially when you consider that he just blew up as in, what, six, no, a year ago, maybe 18 months ago, he was kind of the next big thing. You know, obviously Gucci Mane signed him. He's going to be the next breakout star in his um, new label that he was starting. And then all of a sudden, bang, it kind of got pulled on if the rug got pulled on him. And now he's in a situation where he's, he's legitimately facing life in prison. Again, he can only be blamed for it because he essentially put himself in this position. But it's such a gnarly ride to be on, isn't it? to kind of be seeing the heights of the heights, you know, seeing all this money coming in, all this notoriety, and then suddenly you're in a flipping steel cage somewhere. Do you know what I mean? With with some of the most dangerous people <laughs> on that walk in the face of this earth. It's just flipping wild to see. But the headline reads as follows. Pooh Shiesty withdraws request to delay trial in federal armed robbery case. It says um, rapper Pooh Shiesty has reversed the course and is no longer wants to delay um, of his October 25th trial on charges. He shot a man in the buttocks during an alleged Florida robbery involving a rent, uh, rented bright green McLaren, high end sneakers, marijuana, and liquid codeine. Mate, that video, have you seen the video? The video is available, it's a CCTV video, and it allegedly shows Pooh Shiesty and his boys meeting up with these guys who they're going to buy trainers from. And I don't know why. I'm assuming they always had the intention of robbing these guys, but you know, online and on Instagram, especially there are these kids who basically act as the kind of go-between for these rappers to purchase like really expensive, cool shit, like clothes and trainers and whatnot. Some of them are really cool. Um, they're like 16 year old kids who, have, who are making flipping hundreds of thousands, if not millions of pounds, you know, helping out rappers, helping out celebrities to get a hold of shoes that they can't get a hold of. But others are obviously guys from the, from the streets who are kind of using it as another opportunity to kind of, you know, fun, wash their money, quote unquote, right? To kind of do something a little bit more legal. So I don't know if those guys were on the street side of things or if they were just kind of regular dudes, but judging by the car they pulled up in, judging by, the, again, the video, there's no audio to it, judging by how they carried themselves, they just seemed like regular dudes just selling some shoes. But for whatever reason, they both pull up into this into this kind of car park area, the Lamborghini, the McLaren, and obviously there's a Mercedes, I think it's a BMW, the guys, the kids are in selling the shoes. They get out the cars, they're showing the trainers, they're kind of, you know, expecting their wares in the cars. What you'd expect to see like a trade look like if you're outdoors, you know, trainers on the bonnet, some clothes hanging on the door, and then out of nowhere, it just changes in a second. People are getting shot. People are running into cars, driving off. And then by, you know, within a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, one McLaren leaves, the BMW stood there, and there's a flipping Louis Vuitton bum bag there on the floor that obviously contained 30,000 pounds or something, right? Which is insane. Many of you found that. You would have been gut Obviously, you would have been seen on camera. People would have actually found you, but still. It just kind of switched so, so quickly straight away. And again, this is when Pusha HD is a celebrity. He's well known. Um, he has a very distinctive look, a very distinctive walk. And it's just like, why are you doing that, brother? Especially if you're, if, even if you're going to do that, allow your goons to do that. Why are you the one front and center, you know, allegedly carrying a strap? It, it is what it is. But it continues. The Memphis, um, the native, the Memphis native who's back in blood collaboration with Little Dirk when Platinum in May had petitioned the court for a delay last week, arguing that he needed until December the 6th to property to properly prove his defense against the claims he was part of an armed drug trafficking conspiracy dating back in 2019. Prosecutors said they were fine with the delay, but that conflicts would push. Sorry about that. Conflicts would push the trial into the February. The feds also told the court that they are reviewing new allegations and potential suspense, uh, soup, sus sub subsiding how's that word good but potentially suppers superseding um why can't i say that word superseding yeah superseding indictment wherever let's continue um my word my mouth is going mad in a new um monday filing lawyers representing the rapper and his two co-defendants said the trio now believes it's in their best interest to proceed to trial in three weeks even in light of the voluminous discovery and um, the 21 year old rapper born lontrell williams has pleaded not guilty to four counts of federal indictment carrying a carrying a possible maximum sentence of life in prison prosecutors claim that he and the co-defenders bobby brown 21 and Jaden DeRosa, 21 robbed and shot two victims during a confrontation at the london hotel in bay harbour island in October 9th, 2020. Williams allegedly drove the McLaren to the hotel to purchase the high-end athletic sneakers and marijuana and also was hoping to negotiate an extension to his vehicle rental as part of the transaction. A probable cause affidavit signed by the FBI agent state. Oh, so they were trying to, so that McLaren was owned by those kids too. Mad, isn't it? The feds claim the video surveillance shows Williams pulling up 
to the hotel with Brown, described as his road manager, riding shotgun. The road said behind the wheel of the black Mercedes back. Mate, imagine someone's road manager also being your guy from the roads who's actually going to be able to buck up with you, pull up and just put it on people straight away. That's why you got to be careful with these guys, man, because the, the people they have on their team are just guys that they legitimately grew up with in the trenches. Do you know what I mean? Like, not guys to be messed about with. Um, one man approached Williams and, and handed him a bag of weed while the second man handed um, Williams a sports bag the affidavit states Williams allegedly pulled out a, pulled a pair of sneakers out of the shopping bag and started examining them while the second man walked around and climbed into the passenger seat vacated by Brown as the second man held one of the sneakers in his hand Williams pointed at Draco's a uh, Draco um, subcompact weapon at him and demanded that he leave the sneakers in the car <laughs> holy shit that's some gangster shit Dorosa then stepped out of the Maybach approached the second man and attempted to rob him with his jewelry prosecutor's claim when the man attempted to stop Dorosa Williams allegedly shot the man in the buttocks oh my god moments later Brown allegedly shot the first man in the hip causing him to fall to the ground Williams allegedly brandished his Draco and said words to the effect of don't you try it the affidavit says as Williams drove off a Louis Vuitton bag stuffed with 40,000 $912 in cash fell out of the driver's seat. The McCarran authorities claim investigators linked the cash to Williams by matching the full serial numbers of one of the recovered bills to a $100 bill flashing on Instagram's Instagram. Oh, no. Days before the alleged robbery. Telling on yourself, man. These Insta again, these money phones things are just, oh, man. Williams' public Instagram account also features photos of him showing off um, the green McLaren and displaying several long rifles and a plethora of $100 bills the agent wrote. Damn, in a separate incident described in the affidavit, Williams allegedly pulled a black semi-automatic pistol from his waistband and waved it around the King of Diamond. Yeah, that's what I remember I saw. You remember that one? There's a video of Pooh Shiesty in some club. I guess it's a strip club performing, looking amazing. He's got like a banner carver on a tiny polo, skinny jeans and white jeans and white shoes, right? He looks sick. It's all, you know, he's flipping, dripping diamonds all over the place. And for whatever reason, he's got money stuffed all over him. I think he's even got some in his like like in his shirt like he's just looking like an absolute you know an absolute g he's got it more in his pockets and shit and i think somehow him performing with all the money stacks all over him something dropped out of his pocket and someone obviously picked it and run and obviously he didn't notice until later then by the time he noticed he kind of got angry it's like me mugging the crowd and i guess pulled out a gun and kind of like you know showing people like hey if you've got that shit i'm gonna shoot you allegedly um, it continues, uh, the, the incident, the, the, the King of Diamonds Club in Miami last May after he dropped some cash on the ground, pur uh, purportedly worried patrons might grab it. As security tried to remove him from the building, he allegedly sh fired a shot, striking the security guard in the angle. So you're trying to help him out, right, Nianko? You're trying to help him out, trying to get him out of this place before the, the crowd turns rowdy because it's just one dude. Yes, Mr. Shasti is real and he's from the streets, cool, but you're not going to kill everybody, do you know what I mean? If people want to rush you and just strip you of all your money and all your drawers and all your clothes, they could. So security guard trying to do good by him trying to get him out and then bang he shoots him in the ankle like much thanks you get in it in subsequent filings Williams and his lawyers challenged this indictment claiming that there couldn't be possibly be enough evidence to support the count claim he opened fire on a McLaren a judge responded with an order saying the victim positively identified Williams as a shooter oh no they're telling as well see that's him done Ben I don't know how he's going to get out if he does get out of this then big up man but this is looking like a signed seal deliver case um, a judge responded with the order saying the victim positively ID'd um, Williams which is obviously Pusheisty as a shooter and a photograph of the nearby vehicle showed a dent allegedly caused by a bullet shot from Williams pissed, uh, position the judge also ruling said the man shot in the buttock allegedly handed Williams a bag of liquid codeine before he got into the car a source close to Williams tells Rolling Stone the man was trying to push drugs on the rapper in an unsisted way Williams also claims the two alleged victims were armed during the ah so he's actually trying to claim that it was self-defense and they were trying to frame him or something Williams also held has been held in custody since early July. He faces a possible life sentence if convicted of the most serious count of superseding indictment, discharging the firearm and, and, and in furtherance of a crime of violence. Now, most likely, he'll maybe, there might be a plea deal. No, they're going to trial, so there is no plea. Whatever plea that we might have got offered has already been offered, I would assume, right? That's how American law works. So more likely than not, I don't think he's going to get life in prison. He'll probably end up getting double digits though, which will effectively... <sighs> What did he end his career? How old is he? Is he 21? Or is he, how old is he? The 21 year old, right? If he gets double digits and he comes out when he's 31, will anyone really care? Because part of the reason why he's so popular and so um, loved at the moment is because he's young, he's good looking, handsome dude, right? He's obviously, you know, real as they say, quote unquote. So if you come out when you're 31 and there's new people coming out of the scene nowadays, will people still care about you? I don't know, man. I don't know. 
I'm not really sure if they will. But regardless, free Poo Shiesty. I'm a big fan. I like his records, like his albums. I still think that feature that he has on Gucci Mane's album called, where is it? Let me see if I can get it here. It's Gucci Mane's album. It's one of my favorite tracks that I always play in the gym. If ever I want to get like a really aggressive pump on. Let me see if I can find here. A, B, C, D, G, Gucci Mane, I Study. Yeah, Gucci Mane's I Study album. There's a track on here called, yeah, that's the one. I've actually got it. Pause on it. See, look, there you go. I've actually played it there. It's called um, Like 34 and 8. And it's featuring Pooh Shaishi. It's probably got one of his best verses ever. What do I say? Woo! That line actually is mad, isn't it? I got four niggas <laughs> this me that got the, that this me the song that got the house flamed up. It's like, God damn it! And now there's a leak came out. No, there's a actually a, a prison recording that Mick Mill I think put out of him talking absolute crud on the phone as well. So it's like, God, man, these guys, man, they just they just from a di they just cut a different way in it. There's no way you're gonna silence him. You're gonna you're gonna simmer his gangster no matter how much time he's facing in prison. He's just gonna be the guy that he is in this. So I guess you gotta love it or hate it. But yeah, free push shiesty. Hopefully he bust case, but it's looking like a science here and delivered one if he's able to bounce from this then he needs you know he needs some better guidance around us so people don't you know take the piss but hey what can you do 